Hey, I'm Jasmine and welcome to another painting video. A few weeks ago, I posted a video where I painted Disney characters on two purses. Today I'm showing the next three, also painted with Disney characters. If you didn't see the last video, I bought these purses on a wholesale website and I purchased a total of six. Two of each color, blue, purple, and white. I painted one of the blue ones with Stitch and a white one with Steamboat Willie. I was planning on painting three good characters and three villains, but I lost one of the white purses, but I'll find it eventually. I always buy faux leather bags and use Angela's leather paint. These bags are a little tricky because the matte paints apply perfectly, but any paint color with even a small amount of gloss it takes a few coats to really stick. It's like it has too much water so the bag surface resists it. Uh, you may notice that the purse logo has something over it. Uh, I use a leather filler to fill in the stamped logo. That way I get a smoother and more importantly matte surface to paint over. It doesn't make it disappear but it does make it look much better once it's painted. I painted these while I was away from home so the lighting isn't perfect. As amazing as the iPhone camera is, I'm really excited that I finally upgraded to a Sony camera. I don't know if you can tell. The first purse is one of the purple ones. I really wanted to paint Eeyore on at least one of the bags, and purple seemed like the right color. One of my dogs is a golden retriever, and she has this really sad face all the time, and we nicknamed her Eeyore because of that and the way her ears drew. With each of the bags, I started with drawing the characters in white paint because if I mess up, white is easier to cover up. It's also the same reason I like painting from the lightest color to the darkest. Because lighter paint colors take multiple coats and it gets more difficult to stay within the lines when I'm trying to make it opaque. My struggle with Eeyore is that in the classic, he's gray, but in the new merch, he's blue. So I made him more of an in-between and mixed a grayish blue. color theory problems. Uh, the paint ended up being really light in the container and dark on the bag itself. Uh, when I screw up and get the wrong shade of paint, I still finish the first coat to make sure the final result is even. My corrected shade was much better. And finally is always the line art. This is where that glossy paint is really a problem because lines are the last thing you want to need multiple coats. I try to stay over the existing paint to make sure the lines were clean.
stopped the error, but something was still missing. I looked at a few files on Cricut and really went back and forth between hearts and flowers, but finally picked a flower pattern. I used my Cricut to cut the pattern on stencil vinyl, making sure to have that circle opening where the magnetic clasp is. I then used a masking tape to transfer the vinyl to the purse. I had a few colors to choose from, but asked my mom to pick and she thought white and blue would look good on the bag and match Eeyore. I cut one of my makeup sponges in half down the center so the pieces would be easier to handle. Then I stamped the colors on one coat at a time until it was opaque. I then removed the vinyl and used an alcohol wipe to clean the areas where I didn't want paint. And the Eeyore purse was finished. On to purse number two, one of the Disney villains, Hades. Hades was surprisingly a pain to find a good picture of online. Uh, he was doing some kind of, in every picture I found online, he was doing some kind of hand gestures, and I didn't like the idea of those pictures on a purse. Then I saw this lounge fly backpack of Hades where it's just his face um, on the top half, and I like that one so I drew it on the purse. Adjusting because on the lounge fly backpack his flame hair was weirdly short. Uh, then I drew blue flames around him on the bottom of the purse to just add some more style. Finally, I decided my final bag would be Ursula. I had a few images to choose from when I landed on the one where she's with her heels. When I was sketching this one, I was kind of starting to regret it because of all the small details. color I mixed for Eeyore on the eels, but it was even too dark for them.
while I was painting the lines, my phone died. I let it charge a bit and continued recording, only to realize I forgot to actually press record. Um, so there's a big chunk of footage missing, but I at least got most of the painting. When I finished painting her, I felt I needed a design on this back too, and having tentacles was the perfect addition. I found this design on Etsy and purchased it, uploading the SVG file to Cricut. Really, really, really started to regret picking paint instead of heat transfer vinyl about halfway through transferring the vinyl, but I pushed through. Then my regret came back full force when I started stamping on the paint and remembered how much these bags seemed to hate black paint. Uh, I had to remove the vinyl and clean up the bag off camera because of the amount of issues I was having. But the purses were finally finished. Any purses you see on my YouTube, I sell on my Etsy. Uh, if you're in San Diego, I sell at events occasionally for the store I co-own with my mom. Uh, it's called Stargazer Lily Boutique, and I always take the purses with me to those. I actually already sold the Stitch and Steamboat Willie purses. I am currently doing events at Imperial Beach um, at this artisan market that there is. Uh, we've just discovered it, so we're hoping to go a lot more during the year. We sell all handmade items like coasters, cups, concrete items, etc. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like and subscribe. You know the drill, not that me saying it has any influence on whether you will or not, but see you next time.